it's April 6th, 2020. It's early in the morning uh, on the a really long day, like an 18-hour day, where we're going to do SpaceX release. And so I've got some free time, and I was going to do a little bit of photography with this 16 millimeter lens, which is a wide-angle lens. It's kind of nice because it captures pieces of the space station as well as uh, pieces of the window, and it kind of frames the pictures nicely. It does cause a little bit of distortion, exaggerates the curvature of the Earth, but I like them because it kind of gives the pictures a more spacey feel when you can see the ISS and the window and the curvature of the Earth. So taking some photos here. So we're flying north, uh, northeast, across, just flew across the Red Sea. Now this is Saudi Arabia. We just saw the Nile River a second ago. Sinai Peninsula right over here. Sinai. See the Nile River there. Sinai, Red Sea, you can see the Mediterranean. Yeah, this, I like this perspective better. the full Nile River out in the distance there. This is one of my favorite views, one of my favorite passes is coming over the, this corner of the Middle East, Africa. It's almost always clear. Oh, there's cool. that's cool there. You can see all of Israel. Take a shot of that. The Dead Sea, you can see the Dead Sea. So open these window the this is the last window I hadn't opened up yet. This looks the back half of the ISS and there's the Russian segment and the progress vehicle. And there's the Red Sea back there behind us as we passed over. And then straight up, this is, we call this, this is called window seven. This is looking, we we'll say nadir, or straight down at the earth. And, and then over here, let me look over here. That's the Cygnus vehicle there. That'll be here in, for a couple more weeks into May. But looking down, that's the Arabian Gulf or the Persian Gulf, depending on your perspective. And now we're crossing over into Iran. That's what I suspect this is. Maybe pieces of Iran right here. And this is the, I need to double check my math there, but yeah, that's the Caspian Sea here. The Caspian Sea is beautiful as well. It's huge, first of all, enormous. I just can't get over how big it is. And then it has some really unique colors in the waters. The moon look, these look tropical. So 
as we make our way in the velocity vector, the direction that we're traveling right now. So we're still on an ascending nose, so we're still traveling northeast over the Earth, and then eventually we'll start heading south as we hit the um, transition point where we go from an ascending to descending node. So it'll be about 51 degrees north latitude, and then we'll start heading south. And then as it works right now, we'll hit sunset kind of over the Sea of Japan, or Japan here, so we're in the middle of Asia now, over Kazakhstan somewhere. A lot of cloud cover, not a whole lot to see. A bit of earth limb here. Alright, well that's a morning. Just got I just got up unshaven, tore out the cupola, taking some pictures with a 16 millimeter lens. At the beginning of a very, very long day. Subscribe for more space.